Senryo Pearl Land in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to share tips and hacks to help you plan your visit to Hello Kitty Land. Check the calendar to make sure that Senryo Pearl Land will be open on the day you plan to visit. I will link to the website in the description box below. For instance, in June, it's currently closed on Wednesdays and Thursdays. However, in August, it'll be open pretty much every day. The Hello Kitty theme park is completely indoors, so it's okay to visit on a rainy day. However, if it happens to be pouring torrential rain when you leave, then you're probably gonna get soaked going from Hello Kitty land to the train station. Purchase your tickets ahead of time online from Kluk. This will save you both time waiting at the ticket counter and it can also save you money. When purchasing through Kluk, the tickets are the same price no matter which day you visit. Whereas if you purchase directly from Pearl Land, the ticket prices vary based on the day of the week. On Kluk, you can purchase Sanrio Pearl Land tickets separately, or you can buy them as part of the Kluk Pass Greater Tokyo. For this particular attraction, Kluk offers instant confirmation. So as soon as I paid for the tickets, they were available within the Kluk app. And it was super easy to pull up the confirmation and show them when we arrived. Children under two years old are free to enter. Our youngest is two years old, so he did need a ticket. So for our family of five, we paid $20 each for a total of 100 US dollars for our tickets. Get there early and plan to spend the whole day. There is a lot to do there. Having visited two times, we haven't quite seen all the attractions and we definitely have not watched all the shows yet. Opening time varies based on the day you visit, but it's somewhere between 8.30 and 10 a.m. Closing time is technically 5 p.m. However, most of the attractions as well as the dessert cafes close at 4.30, so there's not a whole lot to do in that last half an hour. Sanrio Pearl Land is technically located within Tokyo. However, it's not right in the city center, so it can take a while to get there by train. From where we're currently staying, it took us almost two hours. Hopefully you're staying a bit closer. Taking the train to Pearl Land is part of the experience. As soon as you arrive at the Tama Center Station, the Hello Kittiness begins. As soon as you arrive, pick up today's schedule with the show times, as well as the guide and map. Some of this information is available on the website. However, it's hard to understand if you don't read in Japanese. As a COVID measure, when we arrived, we also had to scan a QR code and fill out information such as our name, address, and phone number before we showed our tickets. You may want to pick up a headband to wear for the many photo ops. When you enter, you're on the third floor. If you turn right, you can go straight to the main gift shop. We also purchased a light-up wand to use later for some of the shows. Eat early. The restaurants get more crowded the later it gets, plus some of them close at 2 p.m. or only serve desserts after 2 p.m. We recommend eating at the Yakata Restaurant Buffet located on the fourth floor. There's a variety of foods to eat, and there's characters on the stage to entertain you during the meal. The drawback is it is more expensive than the other restaurants. If you are planning to eat at Yakata restaurant, as soon as you arrive at Pearl Land, you can go to the fourth floor and get a ticket. Then you can return later and show that ticket and hopefully get into the restaurant quicker. George grabbed a ticket for the restaurant while us girls were in the gift shop. Then we all rode the boat ride together. And right after that, we went to the restaurant. It was around 11 a.m. There were still plenty of tables to choose from. We were able to go right in. The bill they handed to us had the time written on it of when we needed to be out of the restaurant. Tons of cute food. Haru, I made you a special pink curry with my melody and I like it. It says Haru. Mm. Wow, that's super cool. That's super cool. This place is kawaii, man. I don't know if this is edible, but. We stayed about an hour and left around noon to go catch a show. By that point, the restaurant had gotten a bit crowded and there were people sitting and waiting to get in. Other restaurant options include the Sanrio Rainbow World restaurant on the fourth floor, which is cafeteria style. Each seating area is decorated a different theme. Food options were different this visit than on our previous visit. And by the end of the day, only the dessert counter was still serving. There's also Cinnamon Roll Dream Cafe on the fourth floor for drinks and desserts, and it's open until 4.30 p.m. On the first floor is the character food court serving colorful curry dishes. Double check the opening times and the schedule for whichever restaurant you choose. Expect long lines for the rides. There are actually only two rides at Pearl Land. There's the Sanrio character boat ride, and there's also the My Me Road Drive, which is My Melody themed. On our most recent visit, the My Melody ride was hovering at about 50 to 60 minutes wait time. 
We recommend riding the boat ride first, right after picking up a headband, since it's the most popular and the line can get to be over an hour long. So the next line we have a kitty. Oh my goodness, kiddos, what's about to happen? There's also an option to purchase a pearl pass, which is like a fast pass for a ride, show, or attraction. However, we've never wanted to spend the extra money. I recommend starting your day with the rides and attractions on the second floor. The layout of the second floor is the most confusing because it's broken into two pieces. Part of the second floor is the boat ride, whereas the other section is part of San Rio Town, which is located on both the first and second floor. The easiest way to get to the San Rio section of the second floor is going to San Rio Land on the first floor and then take either the stairs or escalator up. This section of the second floor has Lady Kitty House, where you can take a photo with Hello Kitty. Our family spent 1,600 yen for a family photo there. You can go sit, Sadie. Oh, I see the way There's also a small gift shop right outside Lady Kitty House. The other attraction is Kiki and Lala Twin Stars, which is one of the favorite of our two youngest kids. After completing the second floor, you can move down to the first floor where there's theaters and shows. Some of the shows are also performed outside of the Wisdom Tree, which is right in the center of Pearl Land. For those, just grab a place to sit on the floor. The schedule has an icon which indicates which shows utilize the light up wand. The theaters include the Fairyland Theater, Marchin Theater, and Discovery Theater. We watched the Kwai Kabuki musical once. It's a 40-minute show. We enjoyed the costumes and dancing. We couldn't understand it since it was in Japanese. We enjoyed part of it. They're like, how could he jump and crapping? Mixed in between the theaters is also entertainment hall with a bounce house. Our kids really enjoyed this simple entertainment. If you need a little entertainment while waiting for one of the shows, you can wander through the various factories. There's the candy factory, ice cream, bread, juice, and chocolate. They're just fun to look at and maybe take some photos. There is also a section of San Rio Town that's located on the first floor. You can visit the Strawberry Hall to take pictures with various characters. However, you need to first get a QR code from a machine. The My Melody ride is also located on the first floor. We only had time for one ride per visit. There's still more entertainment on the first floor. For an additional cost, there are carnival games, raffles, or a wheel you can spin to win a prize. Can you choose the same? The character food court is also located within San Rio Town on the first floor. Many of the facilities are located on the third floor near the entrance. The facilities include restrooms, baby care centers, first aid, stroller parking, coin lockers to leave your bag, umbrella holders, postal area, and an ATM. Before leaving, you can pick up a souvenir at one of the gift shops. On the fourth floor are the My Melody shop as well as the Mel Mel shop. On the third floor is the main entrance shop. The second floor has a small Lady Kitty House shop right outside of Lady Kitty House. And the first floor has Village shop. The tax-free counter is located on the fourth floor and open until 4.30 p.m. Foreign visitors can receive a tax refund by showing receipts, merchandise, and their passport. 
I hope you have a wonderful time at Sanrio Pearl Land. I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box below if you'd like to purchase your tickets through Kluk. I really appreciate the small commissions I earn when you purchase through our links. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more travel tips. Our family is traveling long term. We're currently in Japan.